straight out to the lion's den, nearly two years after this little girl vanishes. Why on earth isn't there an arrest or at least a suspect name? And I'm going to start with Lisa Lockwood, investigator and author of Undercover Angel. Of, I commend I commend Ayla's mother. Of course she's bringing light to it after 21 months. There's no indication whatsoever of any new suspects in the case. And why not share that? Why not bring it to the media so we can talk about it tonight so they can be re-interviewed, the case can be looked at again, and to try and find out where did the police drop the ball? Maybe they need to be inspected in what they had done, and a government agency has to find out what they did, what's missing in the puzzle. I would do exactly the same thing. Well, I mean, apparently there's blood everywhere, according well, to this the mother. Man, there's blood that there, was visible no to the naked eye. There's there was blood no visible with luminol. There's blood here. There's blood there. There's blood everywhere. But no um, corpus delecti. That is no body of the crime. They don't have a body. So for that reason, I mean, they're, they're being very cautious about it. And not that I necessarily agree with this tactic, but I can't wholeheartedly disagree with it. They don't want to arrest someone uh, without the proper evidence to secure, right. if, at least right. secure and a conviction. If they arrest the person but, and they don't have the evidence to actually prove the case, then that person can walk free and double jeopardy can prohibit them from ever prosecuting that person. And, and that would that, be a tragedy. Once they arrest, they have to bring them to trial right. within a certain period of time right. or they violate a speedy trial right. So there are Look, a lot of considerations this, and that the real, they have to... This isn't a search to, um, like a manhunt really that goes all around the nation. I mean, Look, there's three adults inside the home the night she vanished. And she vanished about two years ago, okay? These three people are the little girl's father, Justin DiBitro, Justin's girlfriend, and Justin's sister, okay? Three people, his sibling and his girlfriend, okay? None of them face any charges in connection with this child's disappearance, although, according to the girl's mother, there's blood all over the place. Now, um, can any of them one of them, perhaps, be encouraged to turn against the other and shed light on this case. Let's listen, and then we'll debate it. Was there a party going on? What Were there drugs there? Did she get a hold of, you know, drugs or whatnot? But at the end of the day, no matter what happened, I still blame three people. Straight out to the lion's dead. We're going to go to Ken Altshuler, radio host, WGAN Morning News. You are in Portland, Maine. Uh, you're in the state where all this has happened. I understand that dad's going to be in court tomorrow, and it concerns alleged domestic violence against this very girlfriend who was in the house with him at the time the child disappeared. Tell us about that, because I would think that would be a natural way to divide, put a wedge between them. Well, that's true, Jane. And Courtney Roberts, who was his former girlfriend in the house at the time, had, well, broke up with him quite some time ago. Allegedly, he grabbed her and pushed her during an argument. He was in court for his arraignment back in July, and evidently he's also been charged with violating the terms of the bail. However, police have said that this domestic violence charge is unrelated to Ayla Reynolds' disappearance. We were hoping that this would cause Courtney Roberts to provide the DA's office with information about Ayla's, <coughs> Ayla's disappearance. Hasn't happened yet. I suspect that the attorney general's office is going to have to offer her immunity, but she's also going to have to take a lie detector test before she's going to be granted immunity. So there's a lot of a lot on the line here, and a lot of people knows a lot of information that they're not giving up.